Hey everyone, what is going on? It is Brian, we are back, and I am taking a look at another product today. We are looking at the new 13-year American Light Whiskey from Penelope. It's my first experience with anything from Penelope, so it might be a little biased knowing that this is one of the Founders Reserves, and it's something that's not a, a staple of their lineup. However, I'm gonna spoil it a little bit I really enjoy this product. I think it's definitely something that you'll see either on a mid-year wrap-up or towards the end of the year. Let's go ahead and dive into this glass. Now, like with some other American whiskeys, this is not very dark in color, but my particular bottle comes in at 134.6 proof, and you would never guess it on the nose. This is full of sweetness. It's caramel, it's creme brulee, it's powdered sugar, it's glazed donut, it's vanilla custard. It doesn't really have a lot of fruitiness. It doesn't really have any fruitiness at all in it. What it has is just tons of corn sweetness. What I'm most surprised about is how easy it is on the nose and you don't have any burn as well on the nose. Let's go ahead and dive into the palette here. This thing drinks so underproof. It's silky. It's almost velvety, but it's got a really nice candied sweetness on the palate. Again, with the creme brulee, with this brown sugar, it has a flavor, most specifically when I popped the bottle, but there's something about that's got this key lime pie note that I've never had before, from the graham cracker crust to a slightly tart citrus, but refreshing and in custardy drinkability to the profile and a little bit of whipped cream to it too. I'm not trying to be uh, too uh, fancy with that tasting note specifically, but uh, there's a place here in town called Homemade Ice Cream at Pie Kitchen. My wife get it a lot, and there's a, there's a lot of various pies that we try there, but the key lime pie is one that I am quite fond of. And, and this has that kind of aroma, and it has that kind of palate right away. Let's go in for some more notes. As you continue to sip, man, there's a lot of good corn, caramel, vanilla bean sweetness on the palate. You get a little bit of cinnamon and baking spice to continue on but I'm just so impressed with how desserty and drinkable this thing is, not only for its proof, but compared to a couple of other things. Let's go ahead and compare it to another th couple of things. This is our Intraproof Podcast Dancing Goat American Corn Whiskey. And this thing is a little bit more full, a little bit more robust on the nose. The palate leaves a little bit more fruitiness and it does add a touch more oak and that's also enjoyable, but you lose a whole lot of the desserty side that, that this glass has. I don't think that they're necessarily comparable. Um, they're more apples and oranges to me. They maybe are both in an American whiskey category, but this is, is decadent, it's desserty, it's sweet, it's drinkable. Let's do another taste here to uh, Obtainium 16 year light whiskey. By comparison, the Obtainium, now it's hazmat so we're talking maybe four or five proof points higher than this already 134 proof work. it's a bit more brash it's it's very big and it hits you more right away you get some of that cinnamon note you get the oakiness you you have a lot of good flavors too it's almost a little more similar to the dancing goat in that regard and, and if you want to hear me talk about obtainium in a future video. I know there's a product that people talked about over a year ago, so I don't necessarily want to dive deeper into that. The main video is talking about this Penelope. And compared to either of those other two products, as I've already mentioned, you just get a more desserty, uh, sippable American whiskey here. And the more you sip it, the more maple comes out, the more toffee comes out, the more toasted sugars come out. But you can see a, a trend here in the types of flavors that you're getting out of this glass. A, a little bit of oak, yeah, but it's definitely not present in here and definitely not like some of the other light whiskeys that we've talked about. It's very um, 
sweet and light in the finish. It has a long finish, but it's slightly floral and a little bit more of the citrus comes out in really, really enjoyable uh, product here. If you all would like to see me do a flight that brings out the Dancing Goat, Obtanium, Bull Run, Light Whiskies, or American Whiskies, excuse me, and the Penelope, and doing a big old flight, leave me a message down below in the comments. It's not that I've gone super crazy on the light whiskeys right now, but it is an interesting profile for sure. And when I popped this Penelope, I just thought the drinkability of it and the sweetness of it, that kind of butterscotchy toffee sweetness uh, was just uh, an enjoyable pour to come to. It's really fun to pair actually with our uh, Dancing Goat American Light Whiskey to, to kind of play on some bold notes and some sweet notes back and forth with one another. Cheers, everybody. Thanks so much for tuning in. I hope this video was informational or something that you all enjoyed tuning into. If you want more content, consider leaving me a message down below. Let me know if there's other things you want me to try you want to hear coming up on the channel. If you want more content, consider tuning into the Entry Proof Podcast. That's a podcast I do with Drew P. Whiskey. We're live on his channel Thursday nights doing blind flights, talking about specific topics, maybe having a guest here or there. We're talking about upcoming barrel picks. If you want access to our barrel picks or behind the scenes information, consider supporting what I'm doing here and what Drew's doing on his channel at patreon.com slash entryproofpodcast. Until next time, everybody, we'll see you all later.